Establishing priority can be challenging when several creditors file overlapping financing statements. In the case In Re Record Equipment Company, a bankruptcy court did some heavy lifting to determine priority. Daryl and Shannon Reckart owned Record Equipment Company. Over time, Record received several loans secured by its assets. In 1974, Citizens Bank of West Virginia filed a financing statement perfecting its interest in Record's construction equipment, sawmill equipment, and the proceeds of those assets. In 2007, Daryl and Shannon filed a financing statement against Record, broadly covering the corporation's personal property. In January of 2008, Citizens granted Record another loan secured by its personal property. Citizens mailed a financing statement to the West Virginia Secretary of State. On January 10, the statement was incorrectly indexed under another debtor's name. In the summer of 2009, Record requested a credit line from Davis Trust Company. Before granting the request, Davis Trust conducted a record search. However, due to the indexing error, the search didn't reveal citizens' earlier security interest. Thus, Davis Trust granted Record a credit line secured by Record's personal property and filed two financing statements. However, in September, citizens discovered the indexing error, and the Secretary of State backdated citizens' financing statement to January 10, 2008. In 2011, Daryl and Shannon assigned their 2007 financing statement to citizens. In 2012, Record filed for bankruptcy. Among other things, Citizens and Davis Trust disputed which entity had priority to Record's personal property. Citizens filed a motion for summary judgment. The bankruptcy court considered the motion.